How's it going? It's Matt here from VCM. Today I'm here to talk about our forced induction group of camshafts for LS. I do have, there's five camshafts listed there. Uh, the first one being the VCM 15, the VCM 5SC, the VCM 5, the VCM 6, and the VCM 16. Now with those uh, I mentioned for the forced induction camshafts, now they do uh, step up from a daily driven scenario to a more of a weekend uh, warrior, so to speak, or drag car. The first particular one we use being the VCM 15, uh, more so suited to the auto standard stall, the supercharged sort of deal. Now, I normally use this for daily driven cars, is the VCM 5SC. It offers good performance, whether it be 5.7, 6 litre or 6.2, whether it be turbo or supercharged, I've had good success either way. Um, now this particular one can be used on a day-to-day -day basis, it has really good manners, it's still notable, you can still definitely tell it's got one. Let's have a listen. The third camshaft in our forced induction section is the VCM5. Only marginally bigger on the inlet than the 5SC, but it is enough to make it a little bit more grumpy and a little bit tricky to drive on a day-to-day -day basis. It's still something that you could probably jump in once or twice a week and still be able to drive it, but it is sort of more suited to the weekend uh, driven car. Now you still have good result, you still make plenty of power. It has been used widely across from 5.7 to 6 litres and 6.2 in turbo and supercharged cases. Uh, let's have a listen. the VCM6. Now I've had good success with this particular camshaft in cathedral headed engines, so LS2 and 5.7. Not to say you can't use it in anything square port headed like L98, L77 or LS3, but I've had some good success with the cathedral headed engine being a square pattern grind, being the 233, 233. Still something that in a 5.7 it's probably a bit much for day to day use and even in the bigger capacity engine it's, it's much of the same, it's more suited to a weekend driven car. Let's have a listen. Now the last camshaft in our forced induction section is the VCM16. Once again, don't recommend it for the daily driven uh, supercharged or turbocharged car. I've had good success uh, with it as uh, a drag cars or weekend type cars. It's something that is tricky to drive if the car is a manual, uh, even with the broad lobe centers at 114. Um, in saying that, it still has a noticeable idle and still makes plenty of power either way, whether it be turbo or supercharged. We've got a few cars here in house that do use that particular camshaft and a lot of that, a lot of workshops across the country that do use it. Uh, let's have a listen. 